Good morning. Good morning, my friends. How are you all this morning? And it is early for me today. I um, honestly, <clears throat> I think I overslept just a little bit. So my voice is not awake yet, you guys. So please forgive my raspiness and part of its allergies. The struggle is real. My eyes are watering. It's very, very much high into allergy season in Western Kentucky. And on top of that, it has really kicked off to be a very warm time. Um, it got up into the 80s yesterday and I thought, oh, it's ponytail time. I got to I got to get this off my neck. I'm going to I'm going to suffocate. So you guys are going to be seeing me wearing ponytails more often because I just cannot uh, when when it's hot out, I can't take my hair on my neck. I just feel like I can't even breathe. So listen, I know it's early, but this morning I am a presenter in Craft Round the Clock. And as you join, please grant StreamYard permission to uh, display your name so I can say good morning and we can talk back and forth. I just love getting to know my audience and having wonderful conversations. So please let me know you're here. I've got kind of a neat little thing to do. Um, I'm going to hang on. Let's, let's see. I believe... It may be that the, the presenter right before me is just wrapping things up. So I think here in just a minute, I'll be seeing some of you folks popping on here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started because we've got just a little bit of time. But let me share my screen. And this is also going on to YouTube, you guys. I have a YouTube channel. So if you ever uh, want have a friend that you would like to share something with, um, my lives and stuff are over on my YouTube channel too. I'm beginning to see some eyes. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning, my friend Winifred. How are you this morning? It's good to see you. I feel like I've got fuzz all over my face. So see me doing this. Um, I hope you had a restful night and we should have a few more friends popping on. So please grant StreamYard permission to display your name so I can say good morning. All right, so we all know that napkins and plates go together, but I'm going to put them together in a different way. So this is the napkins that I have been in love with lately. These were the napkins I used for my daughter's sprinkle over the weekend here at my house. She is 34 plus <laughs> weeks pregnant, and before I know it, that little thing is going to be here. So um I just love this navy background, these bright colors. I just, they are just so inspiring to me. So listen, I have on hand these plates. They're plain and I got them at the Dollar Tree. They're heavy. They're the porcelain. I think they're porcelain. Uh, they feel like porcelain. Let me see if it says here. It doesn't, but it's just the plain plates that you get at Dollar Tree. Nothing spectacular. But what I'd like to do this morning is I want to put this napkin in the center of this plate. So let me get some Mod Podge out. I have so enjoyed doing some napkin stuff lately. It's the first time I've ever done it. So this has really been fun. All right. Let me get this going on here. I probably should have just poured it straight on here. I've got to get some more Mod Podge today. I'm going to be out and about. And so now this center is not like a definite chisel in there. Good morning, Teresa. It is a kind of a beveled section so I want to be sure and observe that I don't want to get Mod Podge like up on top of that beveled area because then my napkin will stick there and I don't want it to do that but I've got something else in mind that I want to add to this it's going to make it really different now let me say that when we do this this is primarily the intent is primarily for decoration because of the napkin in the center okay but I've got a little extra info to share with y'all okay let's see how we do with this and i've got my napkin ready i've already already gotten the oh thank you teresa 
I've already gotten the two plies separated, so I'm ready just to put my napkin straight onto the plate. You guys, if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far, please uh, give me some hearts. Facebook is loving how the audiences are using the emojis. So I greatly appreciate that. That lets them know that we're doing a wonderful job and we're having wonderful interaction. Engagement. Engagement. Okay, so now... I'm going to cut away the excess and I'm just going to take my scissors and get in here and I'm just going to go around and try to do a neat job and it's hard sometimes with these thin plies we're going to do our best but once I get this in here I'll probably will have to do some cleanup later to make it really really um, even and neat I may even add some ribbon to help finish that edge off. But what I really want to get to is my next step after this. So bear with me just a minute. Let me get this napkin cut away from this excess part. Uh, I wonder if I can just tear it, especially since I'm probably going to use some ribbon to uh, edge that. But that could be, oh, I know what I need. Where's my little, here it is. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. I bet that'll get that edge a little bit better. They're so fragile, y'all, especially when they're wet with the Mod Podge. So I'm just going to make some little dots, kind of like um, when you do um, dot to dot and really kind of weaken that section and then go around. And I probably will need to use some ribbon to give this a nice finished edge. But I want to wait and do the ribbon after I do the next step because I want to see that I don't use too wide of a ribbon. I want to be sure of the um, width and placement. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this off. Make sure it's pressed down well. Let's take just a little minute. So are you guys, do you have busy days planned? I think, oh y'all, I just love these colors. This is doing a little bit better but it is going to need some edging and two when you do this technique with the mod podge and the napkins if you have little places you need to repair it's it's kind of easy to just dab on a little bit of mod podge and just kind of find a section that sort of matches the place you're repairing like i'm wondering if i'm going to need to do that in this area over here we'll just see how it all turns out because it the de facto the factor is going to be the um, ribbon. What type of ribbon? Oh, good morning, my friend Tracy. I do too, girl. I think I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. I've had them for a little bit because it's like when I came across them, I snagged them. But I believe I found them at Hobby Lobby. And I, when we had the sprinkle, I got the plates that matched also. And... Um, I have just been all about these colors. They just, I don't know. They make my heart happy, I guess, is a good way to put it. But look at the contrast already of that dark against the light. But wait till you see what we're going to do next. I don't want to reveal too soon. But again, I'm going to put a coordinating ribbon on here that's going to finish this edge off. So no worries. No worries. Now, this is not going to be for um, anything other than than decor so please know that but I have a little tip and trick for y'all too so we're just about there guys so uh, Monday afternoon I came on and did a quick uh, impromptu I guess little craft around the clock um, presentation and it had some moments of I don't think that's gonna work <laughs> 
but I kept working on the project and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I hope y'all caught that. Good morning, Sonia. How are you? It's good to see you. Oh, girl, it is. I love these colors. Winifred's going to just hang out today. She's going to take it easy. So look how pretty that looks against that white. But I will need to do some edging. But here's what I want to do next. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever toyed with uh, painting on plates. Now, I love to paint. So I wanted to, um, and I wanted to do that. But let me share this with you. If you ever decide you want to paint on a plate, you're no longer going to be able to run it through the dishwasher, but you can hand wash it. But if you are going to do it that way, now this will not be able to do that way. It is not because of the napkin, okay? But if you decide you want to paint a plate and be able to have the flexibility of hand washing it and you don't have like another type of anything on there, you need to be sure and get this stuff and you, I got this from Hobby Lobby I've had it for a while but it's called enamel and it's a clear medium and um, when you get through painting your project then you need to go over your painted areas with this enamel okay all right oh Sonia says she hasn't done this since she was a kid well girl you need to try it again and this time you can put your adult spin on it <laughs> I gotta get some coffee So, y'all, I have been so inspired by these colors. So, I want to, uh, where's my fuchsia? I have some fuchsia, and I'm going to paint flowers on this edge. I have some salmon color, and it's called bright salmon. And, y'all, I know I have a little bit of a shadow right here, but the light, I couldn't get it positioned, I think, because of the all the white with the plate and such. Um, well, Janet, good morning. I'm glad you caught me too. Oh, honey, my top. <laughs> I almost matches the napkin. I didn't even think about that. I was thinking, what can I put on that um, is quick? <laughs> okay, this is a dolphin blue color that I'm going to use. I want to use this. Um, it's called bright yellow. And I'm just going to start with these four colors, okay? Let me set this to the side. Um, I'm looking for my other little flat brush. Let's use this one right here. I always like to get a little bit of water on my brush. But for some reason, this fuchsia color is pretty thin. And so I'm going to just start right here. And I'm just going to paint some petals. And because of the acrylic on the porcelain, it, it will take more than one coat. But you just have to stick with it. And I'm just going to dot it on there. I'm just going to let it gel for a little bit. I'm going to go to the next one. Or the next little section. And my intent is not to be super... Um, I want to be free and kind of flowy with this. I don't want to be really structured. I guess is what I'm looking for. And just kind of see how the paint takes me. Y'all, I'm all about how does it look as I go along and what does it need. Um, I kind of usually, when I paint, I have an idea in mind. But I don't have it all planned out. Because sometimes things happen and you think, I'm going to try this instead. And sometimes, you know, your brush kind of gets away from you a little bit. And you got to make little alterations. That's just the nature of the beast. But um, I'm, just, I'm just all about bright colors these days. I need them in my life. Don't we all? Y'all, my voice hasn't quite woken up yet. And plus, allergies are going on. So I sound a little raspy and hoarse this morning. My eyes are watering like, oh my goodness, it's killing me. I'm going to go ahead and put one more right here. So I used these napkins the other day in a project and I really am pleased with how that turned out. And it's like, okay, what else can I do with these napkins? Because they're too pretty just to 
put it in a drawer or something. You know what would be cute? I just thought about this. It'd be cute to using that these napkins uh, to cover a picture frame. I might have to try that. That might be my next project. I need to find an old frame around here or inexpensive frame and zhuzh it up, zhuzh it up. That's a word I, I use from time to time. Uh, not even a word. It's more of a sound. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean my brush off and I'm going to add some salmon stuff now. Oh, girl, thank you. Oh, man, the struggle is real with the allergies. I'm telling you. Whew. The struggle is real. Get my other little brush out. Let it be drying. <clears throat> I want to be sure and get all the water off. So I'm just going to let this, let these sit. Um, so now I'm going to pick up my salmon now. And I want to do some poppy kinds of things. Now poppies are a little bit different in their shape. So we're just going to kind of just mess with it and be more impressionistic, uh, so to speak. But we're going to have to add in the centers because that's the identifier with the poppies. And I don't want them all facing the same way. So I'm going to turn some a little bit different. So we're just going to start with these kinds of foundations for them. And I don't want to put them all. Let me turn this around because this is kind of how my brain thinks. I'm not going to put them all in between all the things. I do want to put one right through here because I have more space. Okay. Let's see how that feels. We may have to go back and add some more poppies. We'll see. All right. I want to next add, add some, um, let's see these little blue flowers. I love them. And they're real easy to do. You're just basically just, and I don't want to do just one by itself. I want to do a couple because they are smaller. And i got to kind of feel my way where it looks like they need to be. And I'm being very, very loose with this, okay? I'm not being uh, real structured with how I want these to, to fit. And it's very, um, it, this is probably going to need more work as usual than the time we have together today. But I wanted to at least give you guys this idea of thinking about a plate and a napkin a little bit different. That was my goal. All right, so look, we need some yellow in here. See, I'm trying to mimic some of these uh, things that are going on inside this napkin to kind of enhance it. Um, now, it's not going to be exactly because look at these little bitty flowers. And we need some smaller things. we got larger. We need some smaller things. And I love these little guys. So I think I'm going to add these yellow flowers. It's more of, of a small petaled something. So let's just do it like this. And the feel is more like a wreath around this center, around this plate. And I'm really just dotting in. To get the, uh, the paint on there. Just thinking about where do we need some brightness and that's where I'm trying to add these little guys I just don't want to miss your comments so I keep glancing up to see if anybody's saying anything how's our time we're doing pretty good now I'm gonna go back and I want to add some leaves in here too because I have the room to do that and that that's going to give these other flowers some time. There's a detail that I still want to add to these guys. We may not be able to get to that today, but I'll do that and I'll, I'll show you guys the finished product. All right. I have some really pretty colors and I love this color. Uh, it's called spring green and that's perfect. So I'm going to add some spring green in the way of just some small leaves. I'm going to use a very small flat brush. 
and y'all, these are going to be very, um, very small accents. And I may also need some vine kinds of stuff since I'm thinking about this more in terms of a wreath around the outer area that would also help to connect everything together. I'm going to see how it looks and feels after I get these little leaves on there. And I don't want to overdo it, but I definitely need this accent. I feel like I need something right there. And when you do this, it also helps the other colors to stand out. Oh, <laughs> that's okay, Sonia. I am just putting in these pretty leaves. I think this is going to be really, really cute. Especially after I get the second coat on some of these others and they start really becoming vibrant. I'm just making little bitty shapes. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back and add a second coat to these pinks and see how they look. And I'm just going to tap it on um, because just by nature of the surface of this underneath, Plus, I kind of like the effect of how the lighter color is underneath that, giving it a, a dimensional look. See, look how bright it's coming together. Oh, Winifred. I hope so, girl. We'll see what happens. And y'all, you know, it's talking about, I get quiet when I concentrate. So Sonia, you don't worry about being mesmerized and not commenting because when I start concentrating on something, I get quiet. And I'm, being careful not to um, scratch or brush the paint on because it could, because it's sitting on this porcelain and it could just scratch off with the bristles of the brush. So having said that, probably it would be a good idea to use a, a adhesive, not an adhesive, a um, sealer. On this once it's done to help protect it over time. How are we doing on that? We're doing fine. We're just going to keep working along. So if you guys enjoy this, please give me some hearts. And there's my little dog making his little bed over there, y'all. That's the scratching you hear. Um, give me some hearts if you like this. These colors are beginning to pop, aren't they?
mean, look at the difference between that light color and the and the second coat. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I get excited myself. Just putting this little, um, this may, this coat right under here may not have been completely dry because, well, it should have been, come to think, because it's wanting to lift a little bit. That's why I'm saying I'm being very gentle with it. And it's because it's sitting on porcelain. It doesn't have anything to absorb into, so that's why. Oh, uh, yes, girl, it is all in the details. That is for sure. Okay, I want to add a little more color to this um, little poppy, the salmon. So I'm going to go back and next, because that's the order I went in before. So I'm going to add a little bit more there. And I kind of like the dimensions that multiple layers give. If you leave some of that other peeking through. Okay, we next need to do need to do the blue. Get my brush drop. So let's just add a little second coat to that. Okay, and next we have the green. We need to go add a second coat to that. We're almost out of time, too. Good morning, Miss Frances. How are you? I am just about finished with as far as I have time for today. But let me show you how this is looking so far. So I took a napkin and I put in the center, and I'm probably going to use a very thin ribbon, just a very thin, just to finish this edge. In fact, when I go out today to um, Hobby Lobby, I may look for a navy or a very dark ribbon. Oh, girl, I, Tracy, yes, I am in love with these colors. Let me show y'all real quick because this napkin has so inspired me in my evening lives on my page. I've started this um, and it's not finished, but I've just been so inspired by these napkins um i've got some more work to do on this still um and so tonight i'll be working on that some more but i'm wanting it to look like these little roses or flowers excuse me are sitting in water so maybe if you have time around eight o'clock tonight to join me we'll see how this all ends up but I'm, the next step i need to do on this is i need to do a little bit of research to figure out exactly how to treat the glass edgings of this and if there's anything else i need to do in here to give it that glass effect but this is a, the next project i started oh yes miss francis yes thank you <clears throat> all right you guys we are about out of time but i have so enjoyed hanging out with y'all this morning i hope you guys have an awesome day and uh, just be safe and be blessed. And I hope maybe this inspires you to go get go to Dollar Tree, get an inexpensive plate, put a napkin in the center. And, you know, you could even um, pick up a little wood symbol of some kind that they've got over in the craft aisle and, and put that in the center, hot glue it in the center for a little extra accent if you want to. There's just all kinds of stuff you can do. You too, girl. You too. You too, Miss Francis. Y'all be blessed and have an awesome day. I love each and every one of you. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.